morning jacket Saturday the 20th of December and it's actually quite cold so I'll try and make this quick. Firstly thank you for your video, very much still like my Christmas tree, make me feel very festive so thank you for that. As you mentioned in your video Lithuania is joining the EU so from the 1st of January I'm sure Nigel Farage is expecting hordes and hordes of Lithuanians coming into the country. Mentioning Mr Farage um, you may be glad to hear that his approval rating is the lowest it's ever been so that's good. <coughs> A few really nice bits of tech that segue quite nicely into each other is that NASA recently emailed a spanner to one of their astronauts. Now I haven't looked into this deeply, but I'm guessing that what they did was they emailed the plan of how to print a spanner, and then the 3D printer on board printed out the spanner. So that's really cool. Also, there's a, currently a dog that's running around with 3D printed prosthetic limbs. So it lost its two front legs and they've printed legs for this dog and they've been able to attach those to the dog and it's now running around like any other dog. And the third one is there's a man in the US that is taking part in a, a experiment to do with modular prosthetic limbs, which are basically like artificial limbs that they attach onto his shoulders and he can control them with his mind. So he's lost both his arms and they hook onto his shoulders and then the nerves that are in his shoulder, they've rearranged so that he can control his arms. It's crazy. The next few bits are a bit trivial, but they're fun anyway. You may remember a little while ago, there was a man that bought a round the world ticket for him and his girlfriend, and then his girlfriend broke up with him. Um, and since then he was looking for somebody, a Canadian in fact, of the same name that could travel with him. And it was recently announced that he found somebody and they've been traveling around for a little while now. The next one is about a woman called Dominique Harrison Benson, I believe, um, who was a student who recently was given money by a homeless man to get a, a bus home on a late night out. Since that kindness, she's tried to repay the man. She's since raised £21,000 for this homeless man, which is an incredible effort. I'm sure he's very grateful. But it just shows if you give a little bit of kindness, you might get a lot back. It's always worth doing that. Crossing over the Atlantic, Obama is currently working on relations with Cuba. So over the years, you might have heard, Jack, that there is some issues between Cuba and America, um, and Obama's trying to resolve those issues and lift the embargo on Cuban goods. And finally, Jack, I saw an article on The Guardian that said that YouTube celebrities like Glass Half Full News help somebody get through their depression. So that's really good news. And joking aside, although that article was serious, there's very much why we do this stuff. This week has been a terrible week for news. There's been a lot of very bad things happening all over the world. And the reason we do this, Jack, and the reason I want to carry on doing this is because it definitely helps me, and I hope it helps you to think about the good stuff that's happening in the world. So keep thinking about that stuff, Jack. I will see you on Wednesday when we do our collaborative video. Can't wait. Bye.